And parents and educators met in several Brevard County schools to better understand student behavior. The meetings are not connected to the county sheriff, but they come just days after he announced a new plan to crack down on disruptive students. What shoots tonight, Gilbert Gettigus has more from tonight's discussion. Discipline and behavior are similar, but are also very different. More than a dozen parents learning, listening, and even doing some exercises to better understand how to help their child at home. This parent academy was held in several Brevard County schools Thursday night. Behavior is a form of communication. There's something going on. There's an unmet need, an unlearned skill, a frustration, an upset. It was their second discussion on student behavior since October, but it comes days after the Brevard County Sheriff shared this warning to disruptive students. And if you're a little snot that's coming to our classes to be disruptive, you might want to find someplace else to go to school because we're going to be your worst nightmare starting right now. Some parents are sharing pushback. It's scary, I guess, for especially our most vulnerable students. When you threaten our students with the first thing is is disciplines to go to jail, that's a problem. Don't have a lot of teachers right now. We're missing a lot of teachers. We're missing a lot of child psychologists, social workers. You know, I went uh, probably all year thinking I was going to quit. Fourth grade teacher in Brevard, Brian Adams, had a tough first year in the classroom until he took time to understand his students. Our kids come from different backgrounds. Every day is different for them. Uh, their home life is different. Their morning routines are different. He believes in what the parents are learning through these exercises because he says it's helping his own students. And one of the ways is not only just starting to learn how to regulate themselves or at least talk to an adult. Following what the sheriff had to say, the school board president says next week there will be a meeting to discuss the proposed change in school policy. Reporting in Brevard County, Snyder Gabriel Gutigas, Washington News.